Like it or not, you're a walking, talking billboard. You're a walking, talking brand. Marketing yourself is mandatory regardless of how you come across an opportunity. Doesn't have to be a business opportunity. Doesn't have to be a job opportunity. There are many opportunities in life that we yearn for, we seek, but ultimately you want to attract it to you. Sooner or later, you'll be expected to prove that you are more than what it appears on paper. First impressions do matter, whether they take place virtually or in person, because how you do small things are indicative of how you will do greater things. If they can't trust you with something small, they're definitely not going to trust you with something greater. These initial impressions give third parties an opportunity to assess your speech, your demeanor, your presentation, your values. They represent a part of your professional identity. If you don't know where to start, it's okay. You can shame someone for not knowing better. And it's not about shaming, it's about educating. That's why I say I don't sit on the throne and tell people what to do. That's not my job. But I am among you. And as you continue living life, you will be exposed to different forms of knowledge. Not all knowledge is meant for you. Not all knowledge is good. But if you are interested in developing yourself as a person, you may want to take a look into your relationship with your self-care. Self-care could be with how you take care of your physical form, your physical presentation, how you dress, how you take care of your health. It's not technically about being superficial. It's about taking care of yourself. How do you take care of your mind? What do you feed your mind? Who do you surround yourself with? What are the activities that you engage in that feeds your mind? What type of music are you listening to? Do you read? If you read, what type of content do you read? If you spend time around people talking, speaking, there are many people who talk, but they don't say anything worthwhile. What is that rhetoric that you're feeding your brain? and that energy that seeps through your pores. Who are you? That's the bigger question. And only you can answer who you are.